Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for Major League Baseball on Friday, April 14th, 2023. We're going to have MLB player props, run lines, over-unders, Nerfies here for you today. We're going to have three picks that I could great value bets for this Friday Major League Baseball slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you guys are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Prize Picks. So be sure to use our code SFP for 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and description. Great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You can put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money. It really is a lot of fun to use. So I only encourage you to check that out. Like I said, use your code SFP for that 100% deposit match. Be sure to drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you guys would like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. We'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Speaking of our comment cappers, guys, we had two great call-outs in the chat yesterday. So let's see what we got. We had Anthony Moe. Call Manny Machado to, to hit a home run. Um, impressive call out. That's a, that's a really good one. He gets some great value, obviously, on that. It's a great call. That was his first home run of the year. Anthony Moe called it. So a great call out there. And then we had Anthony Thornhill calling the Minnesota Twins money line. Yeah, that game was over in about the first inning. It was 9 nothing in the first inning Twins. Unbelievable. Um, which... Was a little sad for us as far as our game picks goes. I mean, it's too bad the Twins couldn't wait till like the second inning to do that. But uh, as far as our results, guys, we ended up going one and one yesterday. So Matt Chapman voided um, on our basis bet because he didn't end up playing. And um, then we cashed the over eight runs in the Rays Red Sox game that went as scheduled. We talked about how the Rays could cash that over by themselves, and they sure did. They put up nine runs um, right on the mark that I talked about. So that was pretty cool, actually. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Um, but then we missed on our Nerfie bet, guys. Uh, we had the Twins Yankees Nerfie, and we just told it what happened there. It was 9 nothing in the first inning, Twins. Um, and that was the team I wasn't worried about. You know, it just goes to show you how things go. I was worried about the Yankees scoring a run. They didn't score. Joe Ryan didn't really have any trouble. Uh, but Brito, who had been terrific so far this season, you know, with a good matchup with the Twins, who, you know, honestly hadn't put up many first inning runs, and they went off for nine. So, now, what can you do? That's been our luck with Nerfies this year. We're going to actually take a break from Nerfies today. Um, just not feeling it. I want to take a break from Nerfies for right now um, until I just, I, I think I saw just about every Yerfie hitting too. I, I didn't keep track into the late innings. Every Yerfie might have hit though, because when I was tracking, it was like five for five during the day. So I, I don't know if Nerfies are, I don't know, guys. We're going to take a little bit of a break, though. But we're going to get back after, like I said, 1-1 one one yesterday. We're going to get this 3-0 sweep today. Let's break through today, guys. We've got some plus money on the board today. Let's get right after it here at number one. We are going with the Tampa Bay Rays. Minus one and a half run line here versus the Blue Jays. Plus 120 odds here on DraftKings. Guys, you know, we talk about how good the Rays have been. I know the cooling off period is coming, but this is a great matchup for them today. It's hard for me not to take it. Rays have covered this spread in 12 out of 13 games. Guys, if you've been betting on the Tampa Bay Rays this season, you are up big money. Um, and here I know, I talked about it yesterday, how it was a square pick if we took it yesterday, but it cashed. Um, at the end of the day, I think until this starts not cashing, I think we should probably take this, for, especially for plus 120 here. Like I said, Rays have covered in 12 out of 13. Rays are first in runs at 7.77 runs per game. Blue Jays eighth at 5.23 runs per game. Tampa Bay third in bullpen ERA. Toronto eighth in bullpen ERA. But I love the starting matchup advantage that we have here. We got Drew Rasmussen on the mound here for the Tampa Bay Rays. 2-0, 0.00 ERA. 13 in innings pitched, 0.23 whip. Um... Last season, he posted a 2.70 ERA uh, versus the Blue Jays, which is pretty solid. Um, and he's got a 14.8 hard hit percentage, which I like seeing that, obviously. That's pretty good. 14.8%. That's pretty good. Uh, the lower the number, the better there. Um, on the other side, we got Jose Barrios, 0-2, 11.17 ERA, 1.86 whip. Posted a 6.08 ERA last year versus the Tampa Bay Rays. And so far on the season, he's posted a 51.6% hard hit rate. Uh, so that's fairly high, obviously. And that's why I think, you know, 
Rays here have the have the advantage. They won 10 out of 19 meetings last year, so Rays got the season edge there last year. Uh, but here, guys, I mean, we're rolling with kind of a square play, but the numbers add up, and honestly, I just I love what Tampa Bay is doing. They had so many bats at well, Wanda Franco, Yandy Diaz, Randy Rosarino, low. I mean, so many battles right now hitting well in that lineup. I love the Rays to cover here for our number one pick. Well, in Tampa Bay Rays, minus one and a half run line here versus the Blue Jays, plus 120 odds here on DraftKings. Okay, and at number two, we are rolling with the Cleveland Guardians, Washington Nationals, first five innings, over four and a half runs here, minus 109 odds on Bat Rivers. So right here, guys, two first five inning offenses that have actually been pretty solid. Reds are eighth in first five innings runs per game. Nationals 14th, pretty solid, both inside the top 15. And we got two starters that are... You know, Cal Quantrill here going to the mound for the Guardians. 0 1, 6.52 ERA, 1.86 whip, 34.2 hard hit percentage. Uh, solid, I mean, not crazy, but, you know, I used to have confidence in Cal Quantrill. I watched him pitch the last few times. I'm just like, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not. He just, he just looks like a guy that's going to give up runs to me. I don't know. And then we got Trevor Williams on the other side here for the Nationals. 101, 4.35 ERA, 1.16 whip. 268 batting average allowed. Um, and, you know, here, getting into mid-April, we're starting to get better, better weather as far as for hitting goes. We got the wind blowing out towards left center, mid-70s uh, as far as temperature goes at first pitch. So I like seeing that, guys. I think that'll be favorable hitting conditions here for us. These offenses have actually been uh, doing better than they, than they think. Um, as far as in the first five innings, so I think they can get put up five runs here for us. So over there, guys, for our number two pick, we're going Cleveland Guardians, Washington Nationals. First five innings, over four and a half runs, minus 109 odds here on Bet Rivers. Okay, and finally, at number three, we are going Paul Goldschmidt. He was a big, really good to us last year. Over one and a half bases, plus 115 odds, 115 odds here on Betway. So, Goldschmidt here with solid history off the starter he's up against today. Two out of three career off of Oviedo. Um, eight out of 13 to this line so far on the season. So, that's pretty solid. I love taking Goldschmidt at home. That's where he loves to hit. Uh, so far, he's batting 417 at home, slugging 625. So, that's obviously very good. Last year, it played out that way as well. He hit 347 at home, slugged 653. Absolutely terrific. And, uh, you know, Oviedo... I think we'll see him get more shaky as the year goes. So far, 244 batting average allowed so far on the season. But at Pirates pitching, guys, I just don't trust. I really don't. Goldschmidt has really had the Pirates numbers, particularly at home. He's cashed this line in six out of his last seven games at home versus the Pittsburgh Pirates, which we like seeing that. And um, Pirates bullpen, obviously, also pretty shaky. Pirates have allowed the 14th most hits from the bullpen as well. So I think Goldschmidt get this done. We're just looking for a double, two singles, a homer. Um, really, his power numbers have been down a little bit. He's only got one home run so far, so I think he could turn that around today. Um, I really like Goldschmidt to get it done. So love it there for our number three pick. We're going Paul Goldschmidt over one and a half bases here for the St. Louis Cardinals, plus 115 odds here on Betway. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, that is the best way you guys could support me and share the video. Uh, it's been a rough start to the season. I thought we would have a great day yesterday after we started 1-0, and and then that nerf got destroyed, and then Chapman didn't play, so it kind of took the wind out of my sails. But we're going to break through today, guys. Believe it. Speak it into existence. Let's get a 3-0 sweep. Drop your favorite pick down below. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Like I said, like and share that video for me if you guys can. I appreciate it. It means everything to me. Uh, other than that, it's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you all next time. Peace out.